Bob, good morning to you. How are you? Um, well, I'm sorry about the delays today. I'm normally awake around 4.35 every day. And just lately, it's been the opposite. I, and I was down in the library at 3 o'clock this morning writing. And I don't know why. You know, I've, I've That's all right. Damped. No problems. You're here now. All is forgiven. Um, we've been yeah. having some lovely reaction to, I think, one of the funniest pieces of satire you've lo- you've written in a while. And you got me with the headline when you first published it. It said, you know, Seymour tells journalists one and one is two and, and, and sparks outrage, I think, was the tease line. And I actually thought it was someone taking the mickey out of Seymour, but you were really, and, and it's a great piece in our opinions column, you're really saying that the whole debate... Well, it's true, as we know, with, with uh, stuff. It, it, and, it's, and it's true with uh, the media and Seymour. Yeah, have you ever seen a fourth estate so willfully and unashamedly being partisan in this country? No, and that's why they, well, they're going broke. I mean, she paid a dollar for the uh, whole fleet. And the point is, that, uh, like, sorry, I say she, I can't remember her name. Sinead Boucher. Sinead, yeah, um, Irish then. Yes, yes. Sinead, Irish. Not that yes. there's anything wrong with that these days, Bob. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Let's, let's tell the truth. We're talking about telling the truth. <laughs> but no, uh, I wrote a very funny piece of three this morning about the Green Party. You'll like that. Um, it'll, it might go up today. Mm. But it, 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 it's absolutely outrageous. And they're so foolish. They tell lies and then ramming this Maori stuff down everyone's uh, neck all the time. And, I mean, they've crashed the circulation. But it was stuffed anyway because, unfortunately, newspapers all over the world are dying. Mm. Now, some of them, they're, they're hanging on. The few are hanging on in Britain, some of the main ones, but they're very, very reduced and ever-declining circulation. No one at 30 would know what a newspaper looks like. And I think that's sad. I mean, my generation... For me, it's you know very much part of my personal culture. I love newspapers. I have so many bound newspapers going back, you know, British ones and that, so New, New Zealand, Australian, going back a hundred years, and they're great to look at. Yeah. When Truth failed, and bear in mind, Truth was the most popular newspaper in New Zealand, um, and, and you know it was quite a serious newspaper up until 1980. Mm. Um, I bought from the receiver, it cost me 20 grand, the bound copies of the truth going back to about 1930. God, that's fascinating. Um, but I've got, you know, uh, I mean, I've got the complete set of punches going back to 1850, all bound. It's great to, to, to look. I'll tell you one thing about reading old newspapers, especially Britain. They've got a common message from all the We're absolutely stuffed. <laughs> 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 Somehow they've survived. But no, no, this, this paper's committed suicide. And people ask me, why would the Australians sell it to her for a dollar? Because they know the writing was on the wall and they want to dodge the redundancy payments. Right, OK. Well, that is not Good the ad. only a media organisation that is in trouble right now, Bob. I think there are 90 days to go before News Hub. TV3's news arm closes it down. Um, and I think it's the last week for the Sunday documentary program on Television New Zealand and a program I used to work with on TVNZ called um, Fair Go. And meantime, Mikey Sherman, who got into journalism to advance the rights of Māori people and Wahine Toa, she's been appointed as the political editor of Television New Zealand, one of the most influential journalistic positions in the country. Uh, what do you think is going on with our media? Do you bother reading it? Do you trust it? Do you take no, any value I, I, from I, it anymore? I, I, I'm a news hog. You know, I, I am a news hog. Where normally, I'm several times a day, I'll check. Uh, I mean, <laughs> to see a bit of Trump bashing, CNN is always wonderful. Big day for Trump, incidentally, uh, today. And But, I mean, I go through the lot, and constantly, the BBC... Uh, at three this morning, I was looking at the news from the BBC and this sort of thing, um, and the various, you know, on the computer. Um, but I'm a news hog. I, you know, I, I, read, uh, I read a lot of news magazines. They're in trouble too. 
um, the people are not reading anymore, and we know why. It's the new technology. Now you see, take the the failure of the TV programs in New Zealand. That's simply a reaction to a loss of audience. And while you can claim bias and all that sort of thing, and in some cases true, uh, as we've already alluded to, the cold hard fact is people have changed, and it all gets back to the most misnamed instrument te- technology of all, namely the smartphone. Because it's it's uh, it's done anything else, every, uh, yeah, but make people smart. That's for sure. That's is why, quite rightly, it's been banned in schools all over the world, and it's going to be here. Um, but that doesn't stop. Ki- I mean, I've got her. My youngest daughter is sixteen soon. I think she'd commit suicide if you took her off her. Yeah, um, it has had an enormous impact, uh, Bob. It really has. So what people aren't turning in. Yeah. I never, but it had to have something big had to have in New Zealand for me to tune in to the uh, television news, television one or television three, uh, to see mm-hmm. and, um, and, you know, to get the report. And so that, 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 that's not necessarily a reflection on them. Mm-hmm. It's a reflection, if you like, on nothing much happening in New Zealand yeah. compared with what's happening overseas. So I'm not interested in their guff, you know, yeah. plus the advertising intervals and all that sort of thing. I'm a yeah. news hog. Yeah. I want to know. Are they failing because Winston Peters and David Seymour are being mean to them? Because sometimes that seems to be what they're suggesting. That, oh, no, if only Winston would stop being mean to us, if only David would stop being mean to us, everyone would watch us and we'd Richard, be financially mean. How long do you give stuff? Oh, I can't see how it can survive another sort of two years, but I've said that for a while now. They, they've got this advertising, but sooner or later their market, uh, that advertising will go because the generate. I mean, they just they, they can't sell advertising. They can they can only price advertising based on the circulation. And now you can buy a full page ad in in the dom and the uh, whatever they're now calling it, the post for two grand. I mean, I see. I know that an art gallery, for example, in the, uh, what the hell do we call it, the David Jones building, Ron, yeah. um, which we've now, um, you know, finished renovating. Yeah. You know, earthquake-wise and that. But uh, uh, he, I said to Ron, how can you afford to bloody well buy a four? He said, at two grand, that's not there. And that reflects the circulation. Now, if you go back, say, 20, 30 years ago, the full page might cost you, for, in modern day terms, probably 50 grand. Yeah, and that is... They're relying that, on classifieds yeah. too. Uh, you know, yeah. classified are very good money for newspapers because they, they get quite a lot for them. Mm. But look, it's, it's the Herald. They were first off the mark, but um, she's, talks, she's desperately trying to get across to convert them all. Uh, I mean, they boasted the other day of how... Um, uh, uh, of um, how they've got the biggest uh, website circular um, mm. visit thing, but it's not true. Uh, but apart from that, the Herald one is you've, you've blocked her most of the content, so mm. they're too late off the mark. I don't think she'll save them. 